Okay. So our next discussion will be combinations. Okay. But before that, okay, consider the possible arrangements of the letters A, B, and C. The possible arrangements are A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A. If the order of the arrangement is not important, then we can say that each arrangement is the same. So we say there is one combination of the three letters. In other, in other words, when we say combination, the order of arrangement is not important. So if there are three letters, even you arrange, even you arrange it in, in six different order, still they are the same. So that is combination. Order of arrangement is not important. Combination rule, the number of the combinations of R objects from N objects is denoted by combination of N taken R and then the formula is given by combination of N taken R is equal to N factorial over R factorial multiplied by N minus R factorial. For example, how many combinations of four objects are there taken two at a time? So the solution, number of combinations, that will be four taken two. So that will be equal to four factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. So the answer is equal to 6. In order to survey the opinions of customers at local malls, a researcher decides to select 5 malls from a total of 12 malls in a specific geographic area. How many different ways can the selection be made? So your N there will be 12 malls. Okay? Among the 12 malls, we need to select 5 malls. So your R will be 5. So therefore, your answer will be combination of 12 taken 5, so that will be equal to 792. Again, when we say combination, the order of arrangement is not important. Okay. Next, in a club, there are 7 women and 5 men. A committee of 3 women and 2 men is to be chosen. So how many different possibles are there? So out of 7, we need to select 3 women. Out of 5 men, we need to select 2 men. So how do we answer that using combination? So using combination, we can answer that way. 7 taken 3, okay, multiplied by 5 taken 2. Okay, 7 taken 3 multiplied by 5 taken 2. Okay, because we need to select 3 women out of 7 women. And, so when we say and, meaning you need to multiply 2 women out of 5 men. Okay, so that will be 7 taken 3 multiplied by 5 taken 2. So the answer is 350. A committee of five people must be selected from five men and eight women. How many ways can the selection be made if there are at least three women on the committee? So to answer that one, at least three women, meaning the, 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 the minimum number of women is three, four, and five. Okay, The minimum value of women to be chosen is three. So it can be three, four, five. Okay, So to answer that one, Okay, so we need to look for, we need to select at least three women, okay? But the question says that a committee of five people, so five people, okay, we need to select five people. But remember that there are five men and then eight women. So in these five people, we don't know how many men and how many women that we need to select, okay? But according to the problem, at least three women, okay, in the committee. So when we say at least three women, the minimum, value, uh, the, the minimum number of women is three, or four or five okay the condition is at least or the minimum number of women is three okay so how do we answer that so how do we answer that so to answer that one so from eight women we need to take three okay three multiply it by five taken two okay why is it two because we need to select only five people if we already have three for women how many we need to select for men it should be 2 to complete the committee of 5. Okay? Plus, at least 3 women. So the minimum is 3. Next is 8 taken 4 multiplied by 5 taken 1. Miss, why is it 5 taken 1? Because in the five uh, uh, committee of 5 people, if you will select uh, 4 number of women, how many need more to select for men? There's only 1 to complete the 5. Okay? Plus, 8 taken 5, meaning the whole committee composed of women. Okay, multiplied by 5 taken 0, meaning there's no men in the committee. Okay, so that's that's the uh, procedure on how do we select at least 3 women. Okay, so you need to get the combination of this one, this one, and then this one, and then you add everything. Okay, so the combination of 
uh, 8 taken 3, multiplied by 5 taken 2. So using the calculator. Okay, using the calculator. Okay, so how do we uh, uh, insert that using the calculator? Okay, so we have combination of 8 taken 3, multiplied by 5 taken 2. So how do we determine the answer using the calculator? So we have press 8, shift, and then uh, the uh, combination symbol, C taken, uh, combination of N taken R, so you just press it. And then we have 3 times, so repeat the process, 5, shift, the uh, combination symbol, and then 2, and then equals. So you do have 560. Okay. Next, so same thing. So we have 8 combination of 4 times 5 combination of 1. So that will be 350. Okay. And then we have 8 combination of 5 times 5 combination of 0. So that will be 56. Okay. And then you add everything. So we have 560 plus 350, plus 56, so you do have 966, okay, 966, so that's the answer, 966. Box of 12 computer chips contains 2 dot R defective and 10 dot R not Defective in how many ways can a quality control supervisor choose three of the uh, computer chips and get okay, letter A none of the uh, defective computer chips. Okay. So none of the uh, defective uh, defective computer chips, meaning um, none. Okay, It's not uh, defective. So how do we answer that one? So a box of 12 computer chips contains 2 that are defective and 10 that are not defective. You know, in, in, uh, in how many ways can a quality control supervisor choose 3 of the computer chips and get none of the defective computer chips okay so we have 10 which is not defective so meaning we need to select the three computer chips to the 10 which is not defective so that will be 10 taken 3 multiply okay 2 taken 0 2 taken 0 meaning from the two um from the two defective chips we will not select okay we will not select so that's why 2 taken 0 okay because according to the, the condition, none of the defective computer chips. So meaning, we will choose the three computers on the uh, non-defective chips. And how many is that? That is 10. 10. 10 which is not defective. So we have 10 taken 3 multiplied by 2 taken 0. So the answer is 120. Okay, 120. Next condition, letter B. At least one of the defective computer chips. Okay, when we say at least one, meaning the minimum number of defective chip is one. From the three selection, okay, Okay. The supervisor need to choose three of the computer chips. So in that three computer chips, at least one of the three came from the defective computer chips. Okay, at least one. So meaning it can be one or two. Okay, one, one defective or two defectives. Okay. Although we need to select three, but since there are two defective ones, so up to two lang. Okay. So how do we answer that one? So that will become okay. So we have two taken 1 because there are 2 defective okay multiplied by 10 taken 2 okay yung isa manggagaling dun sa defective and then the remaining 2 you need to select it dun sa hindi defective because we need 3 3 computer chips okay plus okay, at least 1 is the minimum is 1 okay 2 taken 2 meaning 2 of the 3 chosen computer chips okay 2 of the 3 Computer chips came from the defective ones. Okay, came from the defective computers. Multiplied by 10 taken 1. Okay, 3 yung kailangan. So, kung 2 came from the uh, defective computer chips, yung isa ang nagaling doon sa hindi defective. So, that will be 10 taken 1. Okay, so that's it. So, 1, 2 taken 1, multiplied by 10 taken 2, plus 2 taken 2, multiplied by 10 taken 1. Okay, so up to 2 lang. Miss why is up to 2? Because there are 2 defectives lang. Okay, there are 2 defectives. 
So the, the, the maximum number of defective computers is two only. Even we choose three computer chips, but since the given prob in the given problem there are two uh, defective computer chips, so up to two lang. So one to two. Okay. So two, combination of two, taken one, multiplied by ten, taken two. So using the calculator, so same process. So we have uh, two, you press two, and then shift um, in combination symbol, and then one, multiplied by ten, shift combination symbol, and then two. So you do have 90. Okay. Plus, so same thing, two, shift, combination symbol, and then two, multiplied by 10, shift, combination symbol, and then one. So you do have 10. So the answer is 100. Okay, 100. Okay, so that's all. So that's combination. Again, when we say combination, the order of arrangement is not important. So that is combination. Okay, means how do we like the problem uh, deals with combination? Okay. More or less, if the problem says that uh, it's a group, okay, if, 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 if it's a group problem, then we need to use combination. Okay, it's a group problem, then we use combination. If you're talking about a uh, group of people or things, that is combination. Meaning, you can select regardless the arrangement. So that's combination. 